Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I love carbs. <clears throat> oh dear. So I'm um, feeling a lot better after the morning's rest. So I'm about to fix up myself a meal. And um, basically, I, I had no idea what to eat. What do vegans eat? Vegans are skinny, they're lanky, they're hippie. Um, they survive on the air, man. We get our energy from our surroundings, you know, like fully, uh, <laughs> which is not the case. In fact, I'm going to give you a quick tour of what my kitchen looks like. I do apologize for you listening to this voice, but I do think that it can be quite raw. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so just on the top side, what we have on the counter, we have some bananas ripening up here. Uh, some really, really nice mangoes that are busy ripening up. I usually leave my fruit for a couple of days before actually devouring them um, just to wait for them to ripen up nicely. These mangoes are from Morrison's, they were 75p each. Really nice and big, look at those. Look at those, these are from um, Brazil. So they come a long way. So this is what I call my car cupboard, car cupboard and the wife recently reorganized all the cupboards. And so this has been recently been dubbed the car cupboard. Um, we shop at various shops to get the best deals and the best foods. We find some shops offer different alternatives now. So this is uh, pasta, some uh, conchigui, con con um, some noodles for the kids, uh, and some ramen. Our wife loves the ramen. We've got some uh, Thai rice. Uh, we've got uh, sushi rice over there, uh, some sushi seaweed. Um, here's my big bag of basmati rice that the wife bought me again because um, the special is about to end at Tesco, so we managed to get a whole bunch, uh, another big bag of that. Got another big thing of rice here. Usually a, a big thing like this would last me about two weeks if I duck into it nicely. So this should last me about roughly the same time. Uh, we have, uh, right at the back, we have some uh, soy natural protein stuff, don't know. Um, we're not really keen on that kind of stuff, but it was given to us, so we keep it in the cupboards. Um, vermicelli, which is rice noodles, really lovely, it's pure rice, lovely carbs, um, some pasta, brown rice, Thai sticky rice, lasagna sheets at the back there, as you can see, um, and the spaghetti. Now, the spaghetti was a huge bargain, it was 20p for 500 grams from uh, Aldi. I went shopping uh, at Aldi on Sunday, I think it was, because we just needed to get the kids out and we needed to get stock up on a few things. So this is my carb cupboard, as you can see, full of carbs, um, full of, you know, good meal options there. If I'm really lazy, vermicelli is the way to go. If I'm still feeling, you know, down and, you know, have a bit of a rice, um, I barely tuck into the spaghetti, but I think we got enough there. So if I do want to, I would feel guilty about doing so. Right, so in this cupboard we have um, some potatoes. We got some sweet potatoes at the back there. We've got a couple of potatoes that need using up. And we have some green bananas in here that are ripening up. I mean, this cup is probably the best place for it to be. It's safe, out of the way, it's warm, and it's, it's dry. So these bananas will just become yellow in a couple of days time. And hopefully on the third or fourth day, it'll be nice and spotty for us to eat. So yeah, that's, this is the unprocessed carb cupboard. Sweet potatoes are going to be eaten really soon. They're looking so good out in the back there. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. This is the Cool Kids cupboard. Um, we have a whole bunch of vegan varieties here. Some of them are not strictly vegan because uh, we, we struggle for options for kids. Um, but we do, most of it, in fact, 99% of it, is pretty much vegan. Um, what this wife's breakfast, except some oats. Uh, some kids breakfast there, Alpen, perfect, Kellogg's is perfect, it's vegan as well. A bit of bread, some vegan wraps, bread over there, we have some crispies for kids. Uh, I think we also have some pig breads, which is also great for wraps and things like that. Here we have um, you know, rich tea biscuits, lovely, it's, it's you know, if you want one or two, just after a nice day of eating good, clean stuff, you're more than welcome to reward yourself with that, but you know, uh, moderation on that please because of high fats if you're losing weight. Oaties, really tasty, um, really good stuff there. We've got a bit of, you know, kids, kids foods there. And just, yeah, Melba Thins, uh, for heat to pack. Um, and this, is, this is vitamins for the kids. Uh, basically we, we try and just pump them, get them as healthy as we can really. 
This cupboard over here is the condiment cupboard in terms of sauces and beans and whatnot and kind of stuff. So on the top shelf we have some breaded crumbs, uh, a few bits and bobs, quinoa, couscous. We like to keep them in jars so we can see what's there. Sugar, some uh, golden granulated sugar. We don't get white sugar anymore. We get the unrefined cane sugar. Really good, really organic. It's a bit expensive though, so we don't really have them in our teas and coffees. Uh, no egg replacement. Uh, sage and onion mix, which I bought ages ago, which needs easing up. Uh, raisins, a little bit of rice vinegar, and so on and so forth. And down over here, we have a whole bunch of condiments to go with our meals. A lot of cooking sauces, basically. We got um, the red kidney beans, which I, I have a lot of, quite a lot of. Uh, <laughs> The next in line is the plum tomatoes or chopped. I was meant to buy chopped tomatoes, but I saw these 35p a can. Thought I might as well get that. Some coconut oil, uh, coconut milk in the back there, which is great. And all these are just cooking sauces, really. Uh, the new me stuff, really, really nice, really tasty, and as you can see, really low in in salt and really low in fat. So that's like you know not even three percent it's like the 0.3 percent fat 0.4 percent salt um, which is absolutely amazing you know it's uh and it tastes really good so you can get that from morrison's exclusively from morrison's which is great and we have a bit of uh, sweet and sour from morrison also really good macros there we have 0.5 percent salt and 0.3 percent fat uh, and we've got other few bits and bobs cooking sauces um, lasagna pasta salad we have uh, madras cooking sauce uh, which is all vegan lovely stuff there and tomato and herb and pasta sauce and various other things gravies gravies are really nice um, the pasta gravy is uh, vegan as well so you can have that I don't tend to have too much of it um, but uh, because of the high salt I do I do have it sometimes I do I do have it sometimes so that's a sometimes food. The rest of it, pretty much standard, bog standard for us. And last but not least is the um, condiment cupboard. We have a different varieties of, uh, you know, mayo, eggless mayo. Um, this is a vegan mayo, as a mayola. Um, the wife tends to do a lot of research and she gets all this cool stuff from, uh, for, you know, some of them Tesco's. Some of them are from other shops, Aldi, Asda, wherever. So uh, to catch up, we got some Nando's Peri Peri sauce. That's for the wife. She likes it mild. Um, barbecue sauce, really good with stuff. HP sauce in the back there. Some uh, vegetable stock pots and things like that. Balsamic vinegar and whatnot. So there's definitely a huge variety for us vegans to eat. I'm not malnourished. I'm not, uh, you know, protein deficient. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not anemic. I get all my fruits and vegetables in me. I get all the minerals that I need. I get all the essential amino acids that I need. I get, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm healthy. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> no, seriously, guys. Um, there is, if you are considering going vegan, there are so many options out there. There are so many to choose from. You, you basically, when you go vegan, you only cut out six food types or for six foods really, it was just all the meat products, you know, pork, chicken, lamb, fish, egg, dairy, um, those kinds of things. Yes, they do make up a huge percentage of what is in the supermarket, but at the end of the day, in terms of options, you will find that you're not lacking whatsoever. There's always a replacement for, for, for meat. There's always a, an alternative for um, animal cruelty. Uh, and, and that's the way forward really. So I, I hope you like this video. If you do, click like. If you want to subscribe for more content, please do. I'll be happy to bring more. Uh, there'll be plenty more coming. I have a whole bunch of stuff lined up for, for us on this channel. And I think it'll be pretty amazing. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you later.